But if you're a liberal, don't scroll. I dare you to watch to the end of this video. I'm going to challenge your identity confusion right now. So you know how that you're screaming. The other side is fascist. The other side is like 1930s Berlin all over again. And their leader is the mustache man. That's actually you. It's not us. Now I want you to do a fun little activity. If you're, you know, interested in curing your identity confusion and receiving the actual truth. So look at the pecking order and the way that you receive information. You use your device, you use a search engine, and then you get a media result for your information. So for the device, most people use either Samsung or Apple. Write that down. Then for a search engine, people either use Safari, Google, Bing, or Yahoo. Write those down. Now for the last part of the project, I want you to go in and write down all of the major mainstream media sources you use. Television, internet, even the fact checkers. Now after you've compiled that entire list, I want you to take it to the Federal Election Commission filings. Those are donations made by contributions and citizens to political parties. I personally use a website called opensecrets.org because it's a more readable format and it's easier to search. If you go to fec.gov, oh my gosh, have fun trying to get to an end result. You'll get there, but it'll take a long time. And now that you've searched all those results, tell me, where in there is there a single opportunity for you to receive oppositional information other than what the Democratic Party is telling you? Because the mass majority of all of those sources I just had you write down, Donate to one party and one party only. And that's why you all speak the same way. You all think the same way. And when anybody comes in and challenges your ideas with logic and fact, you have an emotional breakdown. Now, if you're going to compare us to, you know, a certain party in 1930s Berlin, I want you to understand the history behind how they took power. There was a man named Joseph Goebbels. This man controlled the airwaves. He controlled the literature. He controlled the books that were dispersed to the people. He kept in only the stuff that supported their party, their ideals, and the way that they succeeded. Got rid of everything else. Then that certain political party, before they were popular and in the government, they were an extremist group. They actually had this group called the Brown Shirts. The Brown Shirts were violent extremist fascists. They went around targeting their political and sociological opposition so their political party could take power again. Sounds a lot like BLM and Antifa to me. Now, that mustache man wasn't a very popular man from World War I, but do you know how he regained his popularity? Slowly integrating his ideas into the airwaves, into the literature, into the Commonwealth's hands. Using the brown shirts to target opposition to put him in fear to back down. But the key way that they took power was fear. And the way they achieved that fear was a false flag attack. They made the population believe that the current administration could not protect the best interests and the safety of the people that they were sworn to represent. And they achieved this goal by a false flag attack on their parliamentary building called the Reichstag. And then when the people saw this, they were in fear and believed that the current administration could not take care of them or protect them. And overwhelmed with fear, they made a rash decision by electing that mustache man to chancellor. Now look at J6. Chris Ray, director of a certain three-letter agency, did not admit it if his people were there. BLM and Antifa were there. And all they had to do to convince you was deny you information you needed to have the actual whole truth. Nancy Pelosi, as Speaker of House, had control of all those videotapes and all the information you needed to be informed and make a proper educated decision. Why did she deny that to you? Only to have Tucker Carlson release it to you how much longer? And the way you know your Stockholm Syndrome has taken effect is because one party denied you all the information. Tucker Carlson gave you the rest. You still supported that one party, and you ostracized him. Now, the reason why fascism and your mentality processes right now are so dangerous is because freedom of speech does the best thing possible. It offers so many different outlets of oppositional information to challenge the current idea, so eventually society evolves. Also, it gives the individuals that have deep down underlining motives to accidentally speak them publicly and identify themselves as an enemy. And there's a reason as to why they've dumbed you down to the level of not understanding simple terms like fascism, which you support right now, and you damn the wrong people for it. You can't identify a gender. You can't identify a race. You can't pretty much identify anything. So if you can't identify something as simplistic as a gender construct, how are you going to be able to identify your own enemy? And that's exactly what their agenda is all about.
overwhelm you with information, fill you with fear, and then dumb you down to the level of where you're nothing more than a slave that does their bidding on their behalf. And there's a reason why they keep lying to you every time and letting you down, and you keep running back to them with faith. It's because the Stockholm Syndrome is real. Your enemy, your captor, you have now made your friend.